Hey guys, it's Chris here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use GarageBand to um, record just a basic voice track. Um, this is good for podcasting, um, interviews, really any type of uh, voice over work you're going to be doing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up GarageBand. Um, it will pop up and it'll ask kind of how you want to start your project. I know I just do new projects. Um, you have some different options to go through, but new project is the best way to go. Um, you have some different settings that you can kind of default to. Um, if you're going to do a podcast, I would recommend hitting podcast. Um, but if you're just going to do simple kind of voice work, whether it's a uh, voiceover or just testing out um, some voice audio settings, just go ahead and click voice. So you're going to do that and choose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, you want to name it. I just do test. Um, you can name it whatever, but we'll just start that for here. Um, so you ta test. Um, that was just asking if I want to replace the file that I saved to. Um, so you're already set up here. Um, to do your your audio um, recording for your voice. Now, you have a couple options. I'm using a Yeti. Um, it's the Blue Yeti microphone that I got, which actually goes directly in via USB. Um, you can also pick up an M Audio box, which uh, plugs in via USB, and then um, you can plug your microphone, just standard microphone, into it and adjust your mic input, um, mixing, output, um, all that type of thing. So. Um, when you plug in something like that, you're going to go up to your preferences here and you're going to go to Audi MIDI, audio MIDI. Um, you're going to see where your audio input is and your output. Now you can see that my audio output right now is just my built in speakers on my iMac. Um, you can do it to where if you plug headphones into your, your Yeti or your, um, your inbox, um, you can, you can choose those settings here, but I just have it set to, to output just as my default. Um, your input, this is where you're going to look at your audio settings um, for what your microphone is going to be using to record the audio. So you can do your built-in microphone, um, a built-in input. When I use my M Audio, which I haven't really used for a little bit, you'll see that pop up as Fast Track um, or whatever brand it is. Um, but right now, since I'm using my Yeti stereo microphone, that's what I'm going to go ahead and select. Um, you can choose um, just some different stuff, but it doesn't really have too much uh, to pertain with your audio track. So now that you have it, you can kind of see it picking up here. Um, you can reduce this, the level of it lower, higher, um, however you want to do. Normally, you want to keep your green within about halfway. Um, once you get any higher, you have a possibility of clipping. Um, it's good to always test it out before you record because you don't want to start recording and then realize you say something louder and you clip. So it's good to do a little test, kind of range your voice a little bit, see how high you can get and still keeping it um, within a reasonable level. Down here at the bottom, um, you see your input source. Um, that'll tell you if you want to do stereo, mono one, mono two. You can also change your monitor to be on or off. That um, will allow you to hear yourself as you're speaking. Um, good little piece of advice. Make sure you have headphones plugged in. Otherwise, you're probably going to get some uh, weird feedback through your microphone whenever you, uh, if you're hearing yourself talk while speaking. Um, you have your recording level here, which you can turn up and down to decide how loud your mic is. There's automatic controls here. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then you're ready to record. Um, you want to make sure whichever track you're going to record on, you have it selected. Um, and then over here, you have some different settings that you can kind of actually sort through after you record. Um, for voice, you have kind of two different sections. I think this is more for singing. Um, you know, if you're going to be recording a vocal track and singing, then use that, but uh, podcasting or just basic things, these are probably some better, pretty good effects. Um, so go up here, you're ready to record, you get, make sure you got sound recording. Um, you can do a few tests, make sure it's good. But uh, once you're ready to record, instead of just hitting play, like I think when you first start using audio recordings, you kind of think to do, you want to hit record. All there is to it, you just hit record button. Um, it'll start recording, see it pick up here as I'm talking. Um, and then when you're done, you can either hit stop or the record button again. Um, that'll stop it. It'll continue playing, but you're not recording anything. Um, hit stop. This little arrow that faces to the left with a line that's going to put you at the very beginning. And then you just hit play, and you kind of hear what, you're, what you said. Um, it'll start recording. See so you can hear it recorded there. Um, but that's really all there is to it. Um, important thing to do is to make sure you're saving often because every once in a while, um, technology can be unreliable and it'll want to not work anymore and you may lose an entire podcast or audio recording that you did not plan on doing so um, but that's all there really is to it um, to record an audio track so I hope this helped
and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.